National Airlines Flight 102 was a U.S. military supply plane. On April 9, 2013, the plane flew out of Bagram Airfield in Afghanistan after a short refueling stop. Unfortunately, it didn't get far. Only moments after taking off, the Boeing 747 aircraft slammed into the ground in a massive fiery explosion. The crash of Flight 102 killed all seven of the U.S. military personnel on board. The Taliban immediately claimed credit for the crash, saying that they'd shot down the 747 on takeoff. However, these claims were later proven false by both the discovery of the actual crash video and an investigation by the U.S. National Transportation Safety Board. What actually happened is that one of the large armored vehicles that the aircraft was carrying hadn't been secured properly. The heavy military vehicle had come loose from its bindings and crashed into the back of the aircraft, fatally damaging the plane's navigation equipment. Skydive Lodi Plane Crash In Lodi, California, 17 skydivers boarded a Cessna 208 aircraft. They were planning an exciting parachute jump over a very popular local skydiving area. Unfortunately, instead they ended up in a near-death experience with no parachute to save them. The single-engine Cessna airplane carrying the skydivers took off and began its climb into the sky. Then at around 1,000 feet, the plane's engine suddenly stalled and lost power. The pilot was helpless as the small airplane flipped over and began a rapid nosedive toward the ground below. The pilot, who had 45 years of flight experience, had managed to pull the plane out of the nosedive and give the skydivers a safe, albeit a very rough, crash landing. The plane had struck a passing truck as it crossed a busy road and then flipped upside down in the field of a nearby vineyard. None of the passengers in the plane received even so much as a scratch in the crash but as seen in the video, the plane pilot did end up with a bloody nose. Unfortunately, there was something that the group of skydivers hadn't known about the company that they had chartered the parachuting flight with, a business called Skydive Lodi Parachute Center. Four years earlier, the FAA had proposed fines of over $900,000 against the company. The fines were over safety concerns with the company's airplanes. My plane. Your plane is all fucked up over there, buddy. Is that very much? Emirates Flight 521 On August 3rd, Emirates Flight 521, flying in from India, arrived at Dubai International Airport. Initially, everything seemed normal to both the passengers and crew. However, when the Boeing 777 touched down, the aircraft's landing gear failed, sending the large passenger plane skidding down the runway on its belly. One of the plane's engines detached as the wing struck the runway, and the plane burst into flames. The flight crew opened emergency exits and began yelling for people to evacuate the plane as quickly as possible. However, instead, astonishingly, the plane's 282 passengers began to clog the aisles trying to retrieve their carry-on luggage from the plane's overhead compartments. <laughs> Finally, the crew were able to get all of the passengers out of the plane and to safety, just as the Boeing 777 exploded into a fiery ball of flame. In a very strange turn of events, one of the Emirates Flight 521 survivors actually won the lottery only six days after the plane crash. Mohammed Bashir Abdul Qadar won $1 million in the Dubai Duty Free Lottery. Southwest Airlines Flight 345 Southwest Airlines Flight 345 was landing at New York's LaGuardia Airport when the plane's front landing gear suddenly collapsed under the plane. The aircraft's 144 passengers were thrown around the cabin as the Boeing 737 skidded violently down the runway on its nose.
There's smoke here. Don't get my foot to that. Sparks and flames flew from beneath the plane, but luckily the aircraft did not catch fire. There were no fatalities in the crash, but six passengers were hospitalized and 10 were treated for minor injuries. The captain of the flight was later fired by Southwest Airlines, and the co-pilot was ordered to complete more flight training. Miracle on the Hudson U.S. Airways Flight 1549 was flying out of LaGuardia Airport in New York City with the destination of Charlotte, North Carolina. As the plane ascended to around 3,000 feet, it suddenly collided with a flock of migrating Canadian geese. The birds were sucked into both of the aircraft's engines, causing the jet engines to stall and fail. The plane was suddenly completely without power and gliding under its own momentum over one of the most populated cities in the world. The plane's captain, Chelsea Sully Sullenberger, realized that the plane would not be able to make it back to the airport and knew that there was no large open area to crash land the airplane in the city of New York. Captain Sully decided that his only option to save the lives of his passengers was to try to land the plane in the freezing water of New York's Hudson River. Captain Sully's decision was especially dangerous, considering that there had only ever been a few successful water landings of a plane that size. A failed water landing, like a previous one in Ethiopia, would be disastrous. Captain Sully's gamble paid off. He successfully landed the plane in the Hudson River. As the airplane sank into the icy water, the passengers climbed out onto the plane's wing and were rescued by the New York Coast Guard and nearby ferries. Some passengers had minor injuries from the emergency landing, but only two required overnight hospital stays. All 155 people on board flight 1549 survived the crash. <laughs>